Did I say something weird at lunch? What if I fail my exam? Why is the sun called sun? Ever stayed awake replaying something embarrassing from years ago? That's overthinking. And it's not just in your head, it's your brain's wiring. Overthinking is like a brain relay race on repeat. The impulse is being passed through the prefrontal cortex, your decision maker, then to the amygdala, your emotions, then to the hippocampus, your memories. But instead of stopping, the hippocampus throws it back and the loop keeps running. Thousands of years ago, imagining worst case scenarios kept us alive, spotting a lion before it spotted us. Today, our brains treat a social mistake like a lion attack. Same system, very different situation. Neurotransmitters like dopamine and serotonin affect how often we get stuck in thought loops. Too little serotonin and your brain's filter gets weaker, letting more what-if thoughts pile up. Overthinking feels destructive when it traps us in life, but the same brain circuits creativity, problem-solving, and even big discoveries. The difference isn't the brain itself, it's how we move it. Key is balance, and serotonin helps it. Simple things like exercise, sunlight, or even journaling can boost serotonin, calming the brain and giving you more control over your thoughts. The loop doesn't have to keep running. At some point, I choose where the baton goes.